Hey, ladies and gentlemen, it's the Umbra Messiah. Welcome back to Let's Play Link's Awakening. Alright, and when we last left off, we were right in front of the Nightmare Room. So let's head inside. Neener, neener. You can't find me. Yeah, yeah. Wow, so he's got the insults of a third grader. And apparently he's just gonna keep dropping gels on us. Well, in case you hadn't noticed, gels certainly aren't the boss, but they are dropping a fair amount of cash. But this will get boring, so let's reveal, shall we? It's a giant... Ahahaha! Ah, Ahahaha! Ah, you can't see me. Ah, uh, it's not funny. Okay, so he's just basically gonna sit there and do a whole lot of nothing until we do this. And then, just dash between them and reveal him. Or release him, as it were. Okay. Okay, that's not f fair. Alright, and that's two eyeballs dead. It gets us another heart container. And we move up here to get the third siren's instrument. The Sea Lily Bell! Do 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 do. Alright, well, that was easier than I thought it was going to be. But now we're moving for the build-up for the fourth dungeon, folks, and that takes a while. Alright, you don't have to worry about that for a little while yet. And if we go over here, our stalker returns! He asks how many instru instruments we've gotten, and uh, he says when we play the instruments in front of the egg, the windfish will wake and I'll be able to leave. He doesn't really explain why this is possible, though. Though he does tell me where I need to go. Unfortunately, it's not quite so simple as just going there. But, uh, you'll figure that out. Uh, yeah! Alrighty. So, we're going to go back to Mabe Village right now, because there's an item from Mabe Village that I need. And I actually mean I need this item. I can't beat the game without it. And to get it, we're going to have to go in here, the Dream Shrine. Yeah, I, I realize there's a shrine devoted to this bed. I, I, I can't tell you what's going on, folks. I really can't. But uh, this place is kind of freaky and weird. But uh, if I dash, I get rid of these things, so... Hey, who am I to argue? There are only two treasure chests in this place. Do 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 do. They're all dead. Gonna ignore breaking that for just a second. Go up here and get a hundred rupees. We're yet closer to getting that bow and arrow, folks. All right, and then break through this obstacle. Whatever the hell those things are supposed to be called. And. Da, da 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 We've got the ocarina! Oh, joy! Now we can play and make beautiful music! Or... not. Apparently, I have no idea how to play this thing. So, we've got to go and learn some music, I guess. Well, if you've actually been, if you'd actually been wandering around this game as much as I had been the first time, you know exactly where to go, and that's to Marin, because all she really does here is sing a song. And now we get to see one of the neatest scenes in the entire game. Hey, that's a nice ocarina you have there. Will you accompany me as I sing? And just magically, I know how to play the rest of the chorus. So, 
So, how do you like it? It's really touching, isn't it? Does it stick in your mind? Yes. And now I have learned the first of three songs, The Ballad of the Windfish. This song will always remain in your heart. Please remember this song. You should play it every once in a Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what, Marion? You're not important enough for the pl to the plot or my love life for me to care. But yes, now we have The Ballad of the Windfish, which is pretty much the most important song you can learn in this game. Now... Try and remember if there's anything else I should be doing before we head off. Nope, I can't think of a single thing. So, we're gonna head off. Oh, no, wait! I just thought of something. Ha 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 Funny story. We're gonna make our way through here. As you can see, there's a bombable wall here. Boom! That has, hey look, things we need to break down with our Pegasus boots. Charge! Alright, now there's 50 rupees here, but if memory serves... Yep. That's what I thought. Pretty sneaky, sis. <laughs> Another piece of heart. Well, now that we have that, we can probably get the crap out of here. No, no, don't touch me! Ugh. God, I don't like those things. Yeah. Alright, and over here. Well, there's another bombed wall, but... Hey, wait a minute. Is that Terran? Yeah, that creepy guy who turned into the raccoon. Oh, Atherin, I see you have a nice stick. Can I borrow it for a second? Uh, sure, why the hell not? What are you gonna do? Wait a minute, um... Okay. <clears throat> That's perhaps the stupidest thing I've ever seen anyone do. Huh. Okay, huh. And apparently my stick became the honeycomb? Okay, folks, um... You know, I, I think it's been theorized several times in the past, but I think I can say 100% wholeheartedly that Link really is pants-on-head retarded. Because not only will he not go for women who are obviously into him, but... He seems to think that when someone uses a stick on a honeycomb and then runs away, that the stick actually becomes the honeycomb. I... Uh... Blah. Alright, now if we come up here, this is the secret sea the seashell mansion. Now, how many seashells do I have? Six. I think I can make that ten. And every uh, certain number of seashells, like 5, 10, 15, if you go to the seashell mansion, it gives you a seashell. Which really makes your job of getting to 20 a whole lot easier. Now, there are so many goddamn seashells around here that it, 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 honestly, I could pull it off if I really, really tried. But look, see, there's another one. They're all over the goddamn place. Da, 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 da. I am running out of time, though, but I will try to get as many as I can in this short period. Since we're not really interested in getting to the next dungeon in this video, it really isn't possible, folks, believe me. The side quest between here and there is quite large. Now, this is a secret area that we use to get another seashell. Surprise, surprise. Well, the game really is hamming it up. I don't really think a seashell is this important, folks. Of course, I could be wrong. And of course, we have to bring out our trusty shovel. Ow! Bastards. Ta-da! Oh, no. I'm very picky about where I put my items, folks. No, oh, don't explode on me. We've got mm, just a, enough time to get one last seashell. I 
I swear there's another one we can get to make this 10, folks. I swear on it. I just can't remember exactly where it is. And if not, we'll definitely... Yeah, it's in there, but I can't get until after the fourth level. Crud. Oh, right over here. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, we'll pick up this side quest to get to the fourth dungeon afterwards. I'm the Umbreon Messiah, and thanks for watching. Let's play Link's Awakening!